What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today we are talking about the large delivery wagon and how much money you can go and get for delivering a hundred goods. This is something that actually takes quite a bit of time to go and get a hundred goods at the business. Couple hours it took me. If you have the ability to be more efficient once you go and bring animal carcasses back to cribs, it's a bit easier to do but doing resupply missions for the production is kind of irritating for me as well as you can also go and do the event which also resupplies the camp and on top of all of this you do need to keep building up the camp you can't do this at rank one you need to go and rank up go and get the medium delivery wagon as soon as you get that you can then rank up a bit more and then go and get the large delivery wagon and then that allows you to go and sell a hundred goods from the business and all of this even once you have all of that set up it still could be a massive risk especially if you are doing a much longer distance delivery because other players can then attack you and take your wagon and then take all of those profits that you have spent hours and hours building up maybe even days if you go and look at it if you are ranking up from just rank one all the way to the point of where you can go against a hunting wagon it is a very very big risk but if you can go and get this done you will be making a ton of money now i did do a video a couple days ago i'll leave a link in the description down below as well as there will be a card at the top of the screen of the money method that i have been using to progress through the trade and also the collector which means I'm constantly making money no matter what within Red Dead so I'll leave a link to that you could go and follow that because this is how I built up my trader business so once you go and get a hundred goods and you also have the large delivery wagon you now have a choice of whether or not you want to do a short distance delivery or a much longer distance delivery there are two major differences between both of these deliveries first one is being money with a longer distance delivery you can make a lot more money like Likewise, the risk as well also changes. If you are going to do a short distance delivery, it will not alert nearby players to go and attack your wagon. Whereas if you're going to do a longer distance, it will 100% alert other players that are close by and they are allowed to go and attack your wagon, go and steal your wagon and go and deliver the goods for themselves, which means they get the money and they also go and get the XP. If you have a hundred goods to go and sell and you have the large delivery wagon and you do a short distance delivery, you'll be making five hundred dollars which is a very very good amount of money especially if you are doing this by yourself but if you do want to go and make more money you can do the longer distance delivery which means you'll be getting six hundred and twenty five dollars which means it's an extra hundred and twenty five dollars just to for the added risk and also a longer journey what you're now seeing on screen is me doing the longer distance delivery for six hundred and twenty five dollars from the top of valentine all the way down to the center of saint denis so it's a very very long journey and it did take me some time for the first two minutes of this journey there was no other players alerted which means all the players that was in valentine didn't get alerted or didn't even know that i had a delivery in progress and that is the time which i was just spamming a trying to get as quickly as far away as possible within that time as soon as it hit that two minute mark that is when it sent out an alert to nearby players and luckily for me no one did attack me and i didn't come close to anyone between valentine all the way down to Saint Denis which means I did manage to go and get this delivery but it was a massive risk anyone at any point could have attacked this delivery so far none of that has actually happened to me but I have done it to other players the good thing about if someone does go and take your delivery unless they go and destroy it if they just kill you go and jump in your wagon and then go and ride off to the location that they have to go to you are given a lot of chances to go and claim it back and this is where it comes down to you being a good player try to go and get those headshots straight away and kill them which means you can then go and get the wagon and then go and ride off as well the other day I did have an experience where there was someone else with a wagon and they were doing a long distance delivery which meant I was now allowed to go and attack them I attacked him took his wagon and started riding off and it seemed like every 10 to like 15 seconds it may even be less than that he spawned back in again very very close to where the wagon was and they were always spawning into that location and it also seemed like he was spawning on his horse with the amount of time it took to get back to the wagon straight away if not the horse was always close by to him and he just quickly jumped on the back and chased after the wagon i didn't actually have that far to go i think i was on the edge of the heartlands and all i had to do was go into the middle of Le Moyne and i had to go and kill him like 10 different times so if you are doing a long distance delivery and someone does attack you and kills you and takes your wagon you are given many many chances to go and claim it back so you can carry on with your delivery so you can still go and get that money and that extra 
XP. I would highly suggest if you are by yourself and you do like playing this game by yourself and you have a hundred goods with the large delivery wagon that you only do close distance deliveries just because they still offer very, very good money and also you do not have the risk. If you have a posse with you, even if it is just two of you, you can definitely do the much larger distance delivery and that is where you'll be making a lot more money and it's definitely worth it because there's two of you. You can definitely handle the risk of going to do that delivery. For me, the only reason I did the longer distance was because of this video and I wanted to see how hard it is and it is very, very hard and it is very, very stressful. I didn't have a single second where I felt relaxed going on this journey and it was a long journey and it did take me quite a bit of time. If there was actually any players in Le Moyne, I would have been screwed trying to navigate round Saint Denis with a wagon down those very, very narrow streets is absolutely hell. There were points where I came to a complete standstill. If any players was there, they would have easily had a quick headshot, taken a wagon, and all they had to do was just go around the corner to go and deliver it. And that is when I would have lost everything. $625 just gone within a matter of seconds. So unless I'm doing it for a video or a stream, I will not be doing a much longer distance delivery probably ever again, especially if I'm only just playing by myself. But anyway, guys, leave it in the comments down below of what your thoughts are with the business and selling large amounts of goods within Red Dead Online. Are you someone that will always go for the short distance just because of the risk or are you someone that will always go long distance because it offers more money? Leave all your thoughts in the comments down below. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.